Hello, my name is Anne and this is Toby. And welcome to a Toby Knits podcast, episode 100. I thought I would start my video in the backyard today. It is chilly. It's Monday, October. Seventh. Seventh. Hello, Bob. Say hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. <laughs> and um, because it's um, beautiful out, even though it's chilly. Yesterday, I put the heat on for 10 minutes just to kind of warm the house up because it was definitely chillier. Um, but look how gorgeous my tree is. Let me turn you around and show you. Just look how pretty. Yes, we are starting to lose the leaves, but she's going yellow. Isn't she pretty? I absolutely love this tree. It's a maple. yellower at the back than it is at the front which is a little bit bizarre but there you go probably because the sun is on the back more oh here's my soccer field we call this the soccer field and the kids come up here and they can play soccer or football there's a shed where the tractor goes in the winter so yeah this is the soccer field and then this is the tree from that side, you can see the yellow in it. It'll all go yellow. And then down here is the toboggan hill. Now this is the toboggan hill. The kids all run down or roll down in the summer and then slide down in the winter. There's the fire pit we never use. And over there is Toby's little fenced-in area, and you can see him at the gate waiting for Mummy to come back. And there's the two pines in the front where I got my sock knitting pattern from. All right, let's go inside and do some show and tell for this week's knitting. Okay, so I'm inside now, and uh, it's a little warmer in here. It's not really cold out, it's just breezy, you know? And uh, it, if you're in the sun, it's lovely, but you definitely need a sweater on. Fall weather is here. I can cope with this, I can cope with this, totally I can. Um, anyway, so how is everybody doing? If you're new here, hello, lovely to have you. Go grab a cup of tea, you're gonna need it. It's not a biscuit one today, it's just a cup of tea. We'll be fine, 20 minutes, done, tops, done. Um, and because um, we're talking about knitting, Wednesdays is floss tube, every other Friday is quilty fun, but Mondays is always about the knitting, yes. So I hope you're all well. Um, I had a fabulous weekend. I was gone away to a cross-stitch retreat, which was a lot of fun, but I'm not gonna talk about this here today or show you any videos or pictures or any of that stuff. You'll have to wait till Wednesday for that. Today, as I say, it's knitting. And of course, I didn't get a lot of knitting done this past week because I was away for three days at the cross-stitch retreat. I did take some knitting with me, the car knitting, um, but again, it's not that far <laughs> of a drive, so I didn't get a lot done. Um, I do have a finished object though. Yes. And no, it's not the muscle burner that got no work done whatsoever on it this past week. None. But I did finish 
my little crochet Santa. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? Look at it. Do you got little eyebrows? Now, I feel like his mustache is a little bit... I think I over-sewed the mustache when I sewed it, the nose to it, and then the mustache to the beard. But if, ugh, who cares? Nobody's going to notice except me. That's his little bum. So it's a little ball, and then um, you make all the other bits separate. <clears throat> but isn't he cute? So he is going to go on the Christmas tree. I have to figure out, there are six of them all together. Here's a photograph of the pattern, which I got off Etsy. A very easy pattern to follow. Um, the only thing it didn't tell you, so if you're not a crocheter or am a groomy person, it didn't tell you when to stuff the, the head. I knew because I'd made stuff like this before so I kind of knew at what point the stuffing was to go in but in the pattern it didn't tell you that so if you're a first time crocheter um, doll thingy maker you may not know when to do that but and then the pom-pom look at the pom-pom but isn't it cute I love it love it love it and there are six to do there's a Mrs. Claus an elf a reindeer, an angel, and Santa, Mrs. Claus, elf, reindeer, angel. What's the other thing? You can see the picture, I can't. And whatever the other thing is. No, it's a snowman. Thank you very much for shouting that out to me. Thank you. I did hear you. I did. I got my hearing aid in today so I can hear you. I can. Now be nice. Um, so yeah, I really think it's cute. I love it. And um, I'll definitely, it didn't take that long to make, to be perfectly honest with you. It was quite simple and straightforward. And all the others are the same other than their little outfit things are different. So I definitely want to make all six of them. And then I'll decide who gets what for their tree. And uh, I'll obviously keep two, maybe three. I don't know, but it's so cute. So there, that's some um, Hello Bob, Santa. So that's awesome. Uh, the other thing, as I said, um, on the way to the retreat, because I didn't go out much this week. It's been a funny all week because <clears throat> um, this past week, twice now, the schools have been sh shut, closed, um, because of threats that had been made to them. I don't know if they went directly to the school or they were made to the police. I don't know. But anyway, they got shut down. So, of course, we got a phone call um, one day last week, um, 8 o'clock in the morning, from our son Andrew to say, could you take the kids because they've shut the school and we have to work and we haven't got time to get them daycare. They'd even shut the daycare. That's how bad it was, this particular threat. The whole of um, the little town was shut down. All the schools, everything. Daycare is everything. So, of course, we had the kids. And um, when I have naps, naps so do I. <laughs> so there was no stitching, no knitting at all done that particular day. And then we didn't go out much other than Bob drove me to the retreat. So I worked on my socks. This is um, just a plain vanilla sock I'm doing using my uh, holiday sock pattern. Actually, I'm not using the holiday sock pattern, nor am I using the holiday sock pattern. I could be. I forget. I think I am. Um, yeah, I am, because it has a heel flap and gusset. So um, this is static, uh, is the yarn from Knit Picks, and it is, um, it is um, a self-striping, but with... A pattern in it as well. I don't know if you can see that any better. It's kind of like a herringbone pattern. I don't know. Um, so yeah, and I've just started the heel flap and um, a couple of rows away from doing the, where am I? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm about five rows away from starting the 
heel turn. That's my favorite part. I love doing that part. So this is a really nice wool. It's fingering weight and it is called Cabot Cove after the TV series um, Murder, She Wrote. So I got a bit done on that. And then what else did I do? Oh, I worked some more on Evie's um, sweater. So this is the front. I got quite a bit of this done, actually. I was in the mood to do this. It's not one you can do at Knit Club, which I do have this week, although I might be able to. As I'm getting into the pattern, it's all tangled on the needle. Hang on. There. <clears throat> it's a four row pattern repeat. And um, every other row is a pearl and uh, the other two are the lace and they're different from each other. So the only thing I have to be careful of is which one I'm on. And I do read my yarn. And so for the most part, I actually can figure out where I am, which row I'm on now. Um, but it takes me a good couple of rows in before I can see it. And it's very nice. So I've got one more pattern repeat, I think, or two more pattern repeats to go. I think two more pattern repeats. How many have I done? Okay, wait. Four, five, six, seven. Oh no, four. Four more pattern repeats to go. And then I can start to break for the armholes and start working on the neckline. The back is done. It's the same as this. And um, hello, Toby. Did you have a nice walk? Hello, Bob. Took him for a walk. And uh, okay. so, yeah, so that that's coming on really good. And that's all I've worked on this week, knit wise. And you know what? I've enjoyed that um, because it's nice to just have one or two projects to solely work on. Obviously, the muscle bra is involved in that, but I just didn't do any this past week on that one. I'll probably take that one with me to Knit Club too and work on the two of them. Because now I've got this little guy done because he took a little bit of my time up. I wanted to work on him. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, so that's basically all I've done this week. It's not much really, is it? It's not my normal amount because I was at the cross stitch retreat, which was fabulous. And I am getting more into cross stitch. So my plan going forward is to try to finish off knitting projects I have started. The blankets will all be coming out soon and try to work on them and get those all finished and not start anything new. I did not start the Stephen West MCAL this year. I've done four and I didn't do it this year. I just didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to get trapped doing just that one project for the month of um, October. And uh, so I am I just decided that I didn't want to do it. And I am enjoying my cross stitch a lot more. I'm sorry to tell you, I am. And sometimes I'd rather reach for that in the evening than I would my knitting. But maybe that'll come back. I, if I just stick to two or three projects and not dive into new stuff, start getting the blankets out again when it gets colder, I feel like it might bring me back my mojo. Who knows? Um, but I did get some happy mail um, from Diane of my pink bathtub. Hello, Di. And um, I had made her a cross stitch bag and sent it to her. And she wanted to thank me by sending me some yarn back in exchange. I thought that was lovely. So she sent me this. She did send me some cross stitch bits and bobs too, but I'll show you them on Wednesday. So she sent me this one, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's 75% fine superwash merino, 25% nylon. It's 100 grams and it's by knitabitcrochetaway.com. I have no idea if they still die. But there they are. And this colorway is Rose. And one of the, Rosa, one of the things that she wants, wait, matches my thing. One of the things her and Alice, hello Alice, of, um, um,
Soxy Nana. Soxy Nana Alice. Um, I think they're going to do next year um, a knit along where you knit a pair of socks a month. Now, I did that two years ago and I actually ended up with more than one pair of socks, which is fabulous, in the month. I did one for my own hand dyed yarn because each month last year, the year before last, I dyed up a skein of yarn for knitting socks. And I also was doing the Helen Stewart sock thing. I forget what it was called. So I was doing both. And I ended up with about 18, 19 pairs of socks. And I got as far as November, I think. October, November, something like that. And then I kind of fell off. Because I had done, at one point, I think I'd made three pairs of socks in a month. That was a lot. That was a lot. So I do feel like, because I'm getting back into my sock knitting, I do feel like I want to do this the knit along with Alice and Diane. So I'm going to have this as my first pair of socks to cast on in January. So there's that. I don't know what pattern I'll do yet. I might do my sweater socks, the Nana and me sweater socks, but I'm not sure. And she also sent me this. Oh, this is so squishy. And this is a Barocco Vintage DK. It's just color 2194. There's no name. And this is 52% um, acrylic, 40% wool, 8% nylon. And what we're going to do with this is Diane and I, and I'm not sure when we're starting this. I can't remember what she said. Diane, what did you say? Um, but we're going to do the Coastal Drift Mittens together. She beautifully and lovely of her gifted me the pattern. Here it is. I'll show you a picture. And... Um, Oh, I love them. I've never knit, a, uh, sorry, I shouldn't say I've never knit a pair of mittens. I knit a pair of mittens about four years ago and they were a kit from, where did I get them? Oh, I forget the name of the place I got them, but they were the Hudson Bay colors and I made them and they were way too big for me. Um, and no one else in the family wanted to wear Hudson Bay color mittens. So um, I'm really excited to do this because um, Diane is the queen of knitting mittens. So I am so excited to do this with her because she can hold my hand and make sure I've got all the right size and the right gauge and the you know put the thumb in the right place and all that kind of stuff. So I think this will be a fun knit along. So if you want to join us too, as soon as I find out when we're doing it, I'll let you know. So thank you so much for that, Diane. It was lovely, lovely to receive it. So <clears throat> that's all I've got for you today. I'm sorry, it's a very short one. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful knitting week. This week, I am going to concentrate on the Musselboro Ev sweater and my socks. Those are what I'm going to, I'm not going to cast on another. I'm just going to have those three and work two nights on um, one item and then decide which one I want to give three nights to, depending on how far I am in the journey of that project. Um, and I'm not going to start another one of these till next week. So I'm going to give myself a little break and do the, them every other week, something like that. So that's my plan for next week. What's yours? What's yours? What are you working on right now? Um, yeah. Okay. I hope you have a fabulous week and I'll see you Wednesday for Floss Tube. Oh, that'll be a long one. Okay, bye.